we're back. My lower keyboard has its own set of strings. These are plucked just towards the center of the instrument. And again, I don't know what we're hearing, but it permits a rounder sound. The upper keyboard has its own independent of, uh, set of strings sounding at the same octave. We call this the eight foot stop. These are old organology terms, although for those who have played in an orchestra, frequently conductors will refer to the eight foots as the violins, the flutes, all of those who are playing in the octave in which their music is written. This instrument also has a four foot stop, and we can hear it's one octave higher than written, so piccolo in the orchestra. And in classical repertoire, and uh, Baroque repertoire, we never really use this alone but it mixes with the other. So if I have one eight foot and one four foot together, we hear a slightly richer tone, but I don't think the ear necessarily perceives the octave at each time. Etc. And by pushing the upper keyboard, the jacks of the lower keyboard engage with the upper. And for those who can see, on my lower keyboard, I'm now playing all three sets of strings. And that can only happen from the lower keyboard, not from the upper. And if Graham would permit uh, one first example of music, uh, I'd like to play the first page and a bit of the Italian concerto of Bach, just to show that what this is for, that we have a tutti on the bottom, a forte, with a possible solo instrument on top. Um, and for those who've played the Italian concerto from an Urtext score, you'll note that Bach has written, and this is most unusual for him, fortes and pianos. And of course, you could say it's just loud and soft. It's a little bit more than that. He uh, published that piece, as well as the French Overture, as well as the Goldberg Variations, specifically for an instrument with two keyboards. So very simply, the forte is the lower keyboard, the piano is the upper. So with Graham's permission, first page or so of the Italian concerto. Etc. So we see right away that for Bach, this is a way of using the harpsichord to emulate, to imitate um, the concerto format, a concerto grosso with orchestra and solo. 